My first football memory, I went to, I'm from Charlton. So I went to a Charlton game and it was like a pre-season game. And they were playing, I always remember it because they were playing New Zealand. So it was Charlton versus New Zealand. It's so weird. It was Charlton versus New Zealand. And that's when like Darren Bent was the man at Charlton. And I remember like Charlton playing so rubbish. That's when I knew I can't be a Charlton fan because this is not good enough. First shirt I ever had was the 2000 um, England shirt, the one with the round neck. It had like the red, like the red player name and number. Mm -hmm. 2000, I remember it's 2000. But yeah, it's like the round neck. I've actually, I actually, I actually went and re-got it, but that's the first shirt I ever had, that round neck one. So Dan was like my football, like it was a, when I was a child child, he's like my favourite player. But then also like as I was getting into my teens, I would say like Fabregas. But if I had to pick one out of the two, I have to say Zidane just because he's like one of those players that make you love football. Like Zidane, when you watch him, you just want to go out and go to the cage yep. and do your thing, innit? So yeah, I'll say Zidane, my favourite player. The goal I was there at Charlton was for the Van Persie volley. That's one of my favourite goals. That goal, time. bro. That goal was nuts. That goal's... Charlton ain't been the same since. Since he's got like... <laughs> not for real. The city, the town went downhill from there. <laughs> like... <Fantastic>. So, yeah. <laughs> they yeah, got they relegated that there. season. they never been back to the Prem. <laughs> it all, I'm telling you, start with that goal. That goal was like... Mad. I'm telling I'm you, Charlton back. have not been the same since. Like gentrification didn't come Charlton just because of that. <laughs> I'm telling you, because of that goal. Twenty nineteen quarter final Champions League Manchester City versus Tottenham. Yes, yeah. yeah. I'm sure it was. A, I'm sure it was four three, mm -hmm. and Raheem Sterling scored last minute, but then it got ruled out in VAR, and like the image of Pep just holding his head and <laughs> dropping to his knees. That was the. That's the highest quality of football I've ever seen. Eb signing for QPR, like. I think just because seeing the journey and him, because you have to understand that like, Ebb's got released from so many clubs, isn't it? Like Arsenal released him, Fulham released him. I remember like the day his first trial at QPR, I just, I just bought a car, innit? We finally get on the motorway and then like, we're rushing for time, innit? But then I missed the exit. So then I added like an extra 15 minutes. And the whole time I was thinking, bruv, if this guy don't get in because he's late, yeah, I'm going to feel so bad, innit? it? Do you know what I mean? But anyway, he got there. So I just remember like maybe like a few months later, him signing. And it was just like, he's actually a professional after all of that, innit? it? After like all of that stuff. So I just thought, yeah, that's like, I would say one of the, my most defo cherished, if not, I would just say just on a personal level, just like my most cherished memory for sure, him just becoming a professional. You were saying all of what's happened since is because of you and your Renault twin. Basically, I was saying, yeah, so like the commission should be coming in any moment, I think. The 2010 Suarez handball against Ghana, man. That destroyed my family. Honestly, like, because like, I grew up in like a big African community, innit? So like, everybody was watching it in my house, innit? We have to be honest, innit? He did the handball, it's not like he got away with it. It's not like an Henri one. No. The ref saw it and sent him off, innit? The ref did, did, did the job, innit? But when we missed the penalty, yeah, honestly, it was just like, they had, in my house, it felt like they had just announced World War Three. Like, everyone was just so sad. 